Perl Tutorial Part 113 Regular Expressions Character Classes A character class will enable us to match a set of characters contained in the character class. So let's create a string My six frogs jump three feet and let's print our string. Let's create a little if-else statement that tests for various character classes. So if string Okay, so now a character class is contained in square brackets. And let's make our character class any capital letters from A to Z. If we do have that character class, we will print yes, else. to know. So when we run this, if our string contains any capital letters from A to Z, we will get a yes. And we get a yes because we have a capital M. If we did not have any capital letters, we would get a no. We can test for lowercase letters, which will give us a yes. We can test for uppercase and lowercase letters, which gives us yes. Now we can test for a digit using the D which must be escaped and we get yes we have a digit we can also test for digits this way we can test for white space characters with the lowercase s we have white space we can test for everything at the same time. Capitals, lowercase, digits and white space. And the answer is yes. In the previous tutorial we used the W to match a word character. to exchange the word my to your. Your six frogs jump three feet. So we can also do that with the character class. We get your six frogs jump three feet. So this statement has matched any capital or lowercase letters in the string up until it doesn't find any, which is here between the my and the six and exchanges that word for your. Okay, so in the previous tutorial we changed the six to read my seven frogs jump three feet.
and we did that with the D special character your seven frogs jump three feet so we can also do that with the character class okay so if we put this character at the beginning of our character class it means that we will match anything not in this character class so we don't want to match any letters of any kind and we do not want to match a full stop and we do not want to match any white space and for more than one character if necessary and we'll change that to seven so let's run this so we get your seven frogs jump three feet again if this was global your seven frogs jump seven feet okay now I'd like to introduce something called the word boundary let's copy this example down now the word boundary which is a lowercase b is a way to search whole words so we could begin our boundary end our boundary and our character class is in between the two boundaries and let's say so let's run this and we've changed your seven frogs jump three feet to their seven frogs jump three feet okay now finally last example which uses the word boundary In list context, the M will return a list of all matches into our array. Okay, so let's create a word boundary. Now let's search for word characters. That are four letters long and let's make a global search so this will pick up any words in our string that are four letters long and put them into our array and we get jump and feet so if our word boundaries were not here what would happen? Frog jump feet. It seems to pick up everything with four or more characters in it and makes it into four if it is more. Okay, so we could also look for a digit it's one character long okay so that's some information on character classes
and regular expressions.